It's time to do paper math. We are on lesson 129. You did 130 for your test last week. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five more lessons to do after this. Five more papers. All right, today we're going to be drawing a six centimeter line segment. Six centimeters. All right, I'm gonna check it and make sure it's correct. Six centimeters. All right, six inches would be a lot longer. Six inches would be all the way over to here. So if you accidentally draw six inches, you're gonna know it. You're gonna be like, wow, that line is way too long. All right, I'm gonna write my name at the top. And the date today, it's May now. May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. If you know Star Wars, you may have heard that before. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. May 4th, 2020. Day of the week today is Monday. If you're writing the abbreviation, don't forget your period. And we only have to make four tally marks. One, two, three, four. Done. Number one. Write the number 117 on the place value chart. What does 117 look like? 17 looks like this. And then you just put a 100 in front of it. So 100, 17. 117 is 100 plus 10 plus 7. That equals 117. And we're supposed to circle the digit that tells the number of ones. There are seven ones in 117. In room 9, Ten children wore long sleeve shirts and seven children wore short sleeve shirts. Color the graph to show the shirts the children wore. It seems like every day I start out in a long sleeve shirt and then by the end of the day I'm in a short sleeve shirt. That's one nice thing about being at home, isn't it? You can change your clothes. All right, so we're looking for the children right now. So we don't need to focus on the room number again. They've just put that there so you know what room they're in. So we've got ten children that wore long sleeve shirts. And we've got seven children that wore short sleeve shirts. All right, so long sleeve, again, they've switched it on us. Long sleeve is down here. So we've got 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then we have seven children that wore short sleeve shirts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to a math webinar today. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love to learn new things about math. How many more children wore long sleeve than short sleeves? All right, so we've got to take 10 and we've got to subtract 7. Or you can look up here and see 1, 2, 3. There are 3 here that do not have a match. 3 more children wore long sleeves than short sleeves. And how many children are in room nine? So now we have to add 10 plus seven. If we had our 100 chart, we could just look at seven and go straight down on the 100 chart. This is how many kids I had in my class last year, 17. Number three, measure this line segment using centimeters. Oh, that's the wrong side, isn't it? I'll put it on the inches side. I'm going to turn it to the centimeter side. All right, centimeters. I'm going to make sure it's lined up over here at the edge. I've got to go over here. Aha! Uh -huh. 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters is equivalent to almost five inches, not quite, about four and three fourths inches. All right. Oh, now I have to measure this line segment using inches. All right. How many inches is this line segment? Ah, two inches. Number five. Circle all the shapes divided into fourths. Fourths is four equal pieces. Is this divided into four equal pieces? Yes. Is this divided into four equal pieces? No. Is this divided into four equal pieces? 
No, that's one sixth. Is this divided into four equal pieces? Yes. Looks like a railroad crossing. Is this divided into four equal pieces? No. Color two fourths of each sh circled shape blue. All right, two fourths. So I have to color two of the four equal pieces. And I cannot get my lid off my marker. There we go. All right, so two fourths means that I'm gonna color two out of the four pieces. So you can pick whatever two you wanna color. I'll pick the two on top here. So I'm gonna eat half the pizza. Two fourths is the same as one half. And over here, I'm going to color two, two pieces. All right, two fourths. All right, I need to put my lid back on my marker. And down here, I'm going to be subtracting 54 cents minus 34 cents. Four minus four. If you said eight, you're adding. Don't forget to subtract. Four minus four is zero. Five minus three. If you said eight, you're forgetting, you're subtracting. Five, take away three. You have 20 cents left. Over here, we have 10 plus 89. Oh, if we had our 100 chart, we could just go to 89 and go straight down. What number is right under that? Zero plus nine, eight plus one. Ooh, 99 cents. One cent more and we'll have 100. Oh, it's subtraction again. Five minus three. Is it eight? No, it's two. Five minus four equals one. We've got 12 cents left over there. And the last one, three plus three, we all know it. And seven plus one, 86 cents. All right, so that's it for paper math today. Let's take a look at the fact sheet, see what it says. All right, we have a fact sheet. I'm looking to see if the new concept is on here from Hands on Math. I don't see it on here. They must be waiting till tomorrow to put it on here. Well, this one is. This is a reverse doubles fact because two plus two is four. Four minus two is two. Are there any other ones that are reverse double facts? I'm looking to see. No. No other ones on this one. All right. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Math is so much fun.